We're getting more serious about getting everyone back into the office. We aren't asking or negotiating at this point, we're informing of how we need to work together going forward. It's again, for the simple reason that great companies are built by great people working together and seeing each other eye to eye and tackling the big task. You know what you need? A dimly lit, smelly, humid open office where you can do the exact same thing that you were doing at home. But now we can micromanage you. Today we'll be taking a look at the corporate fiasco that's so out of touch, it seems like a comedy sketch from Saturday Night Live or something. Internet brands, you know, the overlords of WebMD, their parent company. Instead of sending an email out or doing anything like that, they make this cringy video where they get all of the executives to stand in front of a poorly done green screen talking about why they need you back in the office and they give reasons like because we work better because many of you have come back to the office and we've noticed it's made a big difference what kpis are we measuring exactly average warmth of the seat rate of increase for indoor methane unfortunately too big of a group hasn't returned I mean, do you blame them? Play this video back one more time and ask yourself maybe why that is. Just look at the office, look at it yourself. You'll notice that everyone is doing the exact same thing they would be doing at home, sitting at a computer or on a Zoom call with someone next to them. We move faster, we get better results, and the executives are gonna tell you more about that right now. Here's a study about what happens when you work better together. This was a study that was done, bringing people from their individual offices into an open office where they could all collaborate and innovate and do all the same things that these CEOs and executives are saying. And the TLDR, since this is like 15 pages long, the study showed it reduced face-to-face -face interaction by 70%. So what makes you think forcing people from their home offices back into the office is going to increase that? You might be wondering how they measured that. They made the employees wear this little necklace and it had a whole bunch of sensors on it that knew when people were in proximity or facing each other having conversations. So that way they could tell the difference between people interacting. There was a large reduction in face-to-face -face interaction the more you try to force it on people. And the executives are going to tell you more about that right now. We need you ready and present and we need it now. Working together face-to-face -face helps us create ideas faster and better. Like a lot of these other companies bringing their employees back to the office, this company is also not giving any good reasons. So we have new products and new offerings for our customers. We're able to collaborate and help each other to be better leaders. We all know when we spend more time together, we end up creating better solutions for our clients. It encourages organic breakthrough moments of creativity. If you're not laughing at how cringe this is already, you might be wondering, who are these executives in the video? And when I show you their professional background, I think it will make so much more sense. This is Lynn, the HR lady. And if we come down and look at her experience, you can see that basically she graduated and became a director and then has just been a director ever since. But it's not just Lynn, the HR lady. This is Blake, the chief financial officer. And if we look at his education, you can see that he graduated in 1998. He uh, became a senior auditor in instantaneously and then became a director and has been an executive ever since. That's interesting, right? What about Lisa here, the chief operating officer? We look at her, you can see that she was a VP back in 1999 and has just been a director and executive ever since. If we look at Steve, he did uh, four years in the Coast Guard and then became a director and has been a director or vice president executive in some capacity ever since. It propels us into meeting our business goals and we definitely have big goals for 2024 and we need your help to accomplish those. We're better when we're together and we need to be our best to crush our competition. Crush your competitor. What did Dr. Pepper ever do to you? We have been slow in getting back with you. You gotta love how they're just blatantly making fun of remote workers, assuming that you're only working from the waist up, as if it matters. We have been slow in getting back with some people and in some places. That's about to change. Is he standing on the cabinet? How are these top cabinets so big? Your manager will be in touch with you shortly about how this will be implemented and tracked. So they're just openly admitting to tracking you at this point? Not actually that uncommon. Dare I say, many internet brands track you on the internet. And that's why you should click my link in the description and use today's sponsor, Aura. If you've never heard of Aura before, they're like a Swiss army knife of uh, software for tools to keep you safe while you're browsing the web. So like I just mentioned, you can go into your Aura account and you can request that the data brokers remove all of the information that these uh, internet brands have been collecting on you. You know, those platforms that most of us love to use and just give them our information without thinking. Yeah, go have them delete that. I was pretty surprised at what I found when I logged into my Aura account, but Aura also has other things and unlike these 
these CEOs, most of us don't have financial protection from all angles, so they have things like transaction monitoring. You can freeze your credit. You can check your credit. They also have a VPN to help keep your footprint pretty small while you're browsing. And if you're worried about the kids and family and what they're looking at, there's protection options for them as well. They have identity theft protection, antivirus, spam call protection, password manager, and all of that is inside one app. Anyways, I think you'd be surprised at what you find about yourself. And you get two weeks free when you use my link down in the description or just go to Aura.com slash fluke or you can just scan this little QR code. Let's see if we can't get enough clicks on that link to get me in a video with our man Robert Downey here for the next Aura sponsor. <laughs> Is that a reach? If you want to see it happen, you know what to do. Thanks again to Aura for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, look at how bad this green screen job is. See the green reflecting on her hair right here. And if you zoom in, you can see there's pieces of her hair just missing. Like Blake here, the lighting doesn't match. He's way too dark. AI could have done a better job. Thank you, team. I want to leave you with this. We aren't asking or negotiating at this point. We're informing of how we need to work together going forward. Oh, and I'm not asking you either. Then why even post this video? Why even try to explain or give reasons? For the simple reason that great companies are built by great people working together and seeing each other eye to eye. Uh, let me stop you right there. Let's fact check that information. Noom, specializing in health and fitness. Over 1,800 employees, fully remote. GitLab, over 2,000 remote employees. Fonterra, remote workforce of over 1,200 employees. Vista, over 7,000. And I think all of these names are more memorable than internet brands. With this company specifically, you want people to come into an office to work on the internet instead of just working on the internet. Think about it. Thank you in advance for your help. All right, so after our boy Bob Briscoe fades out and they go to join a conference, except they can't. They don't need that because everyone's in person now and it's just get wrecked, uh, remote workers or something. I don't know. It's supposed to be funny. Oh, God. And then whoever these people are, they're not named in the video, are dancing to the song. This one's too happy to be in this video. I I'm, not, I'm not a fan. Mike from Jersey Shore, question mark? Do we have a situation on our hands? This one is the best. <laughs> if you go frame by frame, it just looks like, just kill me now. Looks like this guy just got roped in at the last second. He's like, uh, okay, I guess I'll dance. Yep, is this good? Now, their response to the backlash of the video is the best cop-out slash slap in the face slash, uh, uh, we don't care. Wow, this video has gotten a lot of attention. Our return to office policy is a hybrid one. We've been rolling out these hybrid policies for over a year. So the criticism on the tone and style, yeah, corporate videos are corporate videos. It then included a shrugging emoji. There are corporate videos, and then there's this video. In a statement to Business Insider, this is what the company said, our executive team feels strongly that both our company and our employees are more successful when they can collaborate in person. They feel strongly. They don't have data strongly. They just feel strongly. Great PR statement. Like, what are you doing, internet brands? The tone of the video was an intentional decision to keep the topic light and somewhat ironic. We aren't asking or negotiating at this point. That's not light. What? Not, not even your office is light. It's dimly lit and depressing. In the context of knowing very well that the return to office issue can be emotionally charged, it is when it makes no sense to return to office. When you're not giving any good reasons. When people have to give up family time and time that actually matters with people they actually care about and love, you're going to get emotions. Nonetheless, we take our individual and collective productivity seriously and firmly believe the best way to learn and grow is to be together. Again, more believing and feeling. No facts, no actual data. It's pretty obvious that they're choosing to turn their head away and be ignorant about this issue and not look at studies because if they did, they'd realize just how short-sighted this is. But then again, when you go look at these executives' LinkedIn history and all of their professional experience, they're just in some other universe being executives in executive land where there's endless bottles of mouthwash and belt buckles for you to climb your way up the corporate ladder. Trust me, it's not a place you want to go. So this is what they don't show you. All of this cringe right here is what they want you to come back into the office for. So you're telling me we work better together with this nonsense going around while I'm trying to get stuff done? Or I could just be at home getting stuff done? When you go to Google, the Glassdoor reviews for this company, down here, there's a commonly searched one for high turnover, which I thought was hilarious. Some info on Bob Briscoe, if you want to know his net worth, apparently... In 2022, he's worth 9 mil. Bob Briscoe was born into a family of directors and founders. So it's no surprise that he followed in their footsteps and became a director himself. I don't, I don't know if this is true or not, because I don't know who it's written by, but I'd believe it. When you look at his other executives, everyone just graduates and becomes an executive. It doesn't happen anymore. You got to work for 10 years as an unpaid intern to be a barely paid intern, and then maybe you can be a junior person that gets laid off. Bob Briscoe is five foot six, 45 years old. Okay, so it's not, ain't, ain't, I don't know about that one. Bob also has this weird old 
website. Bob Briscoe's blog. That's a lot of bees, Bob. And it's just a bunch of weird stuff, and he hasn't posted anything. Anyways, what do you think? Are you back in the office, or are you remote for life? Or are you one of those hybrid people that can balance this somehow? Well, do me a favor and click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see me roast more of this corporate nonsense. And if you have anything you'd like me to take a look at on the channel, you can email me, Instagram, Discord. Links for that are all down there. Having said all that, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.